It's funny how, like, casually now we just go around saying to each other, yeah, the world's ending, so. Like, to strangers, acquaintances, even the waiter at a restaurant, ah, the world's ending, so do a shot with us. Or you'll hear, ah, the world's ending, so over it. Wait, wait, but did you hear that there was a raging bonfire in the Bay Area? Hmm. Eh. Or that there was a deal struck for peace in the Middle East? Whatever. Or that there's trouble with the post office? No! God, no! Not the post office! I mean, yeah, I haven't written a letter since dumping my middle school girlfriend in 1990 while binging Degrassi Junior High, but we can't stand idly by. Look, the post office has problems when it's not a pandemic. Universal mail-in ballots? Let's just throw money at the problem. That'll do it. Sure, it's not what they do. It's not like they have the infrastructure to handle 50 states worth of millions of more pieces of mail. But hey, they should do what we want them to do. Look, we're just gonna cut them a check and throw money at them and say, just do it, you serfs. That's our will. That's what we deign for you to do. By the end of this thing, the post office, all of them, they're gonna look like giant Ross dress for less with like ballots of racks just spread out all over the floor mixed in with junk mailers, a publisher's clearinghouse under some pile somewhere, some real fines. I think we'll be able to get signed ballots from every member of the 27 Yankees. That'll be cool. I understand there's argument on both sides, but all I'm saying is, would you pack 12 people into a Prius and not expect a clown car. The DNC is such a love fest of full of heart hugs and empathy and beautiful feelings and stories from everyday Americans with a little twist. I used to enjoy my life until one day I developed fibromyalgia and I can trace its first symptoms back to the time I first laid eyes on Donald Trump, that orange monster. Obama's speech was criticized by Trump for not condemning the upcoming Kevin Hart, Will Smith remake of Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Trump received an unfavorable court decision regarding his tax returns, which continue to prove as elusive as we saw in City Slickers 2, The Hunt for Curly's Gold. I'm looking forward to next week's RNC, where we'll once again get to hear from Chachi and that guy from Chips. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching Friday's Musing. I so appreciate it. Please feel free to leave your comments. I love to see them. I do have the podcast coming up with Dina Kashaba, still the artist, as well as a great surprise guest shortly thereafter. See you next Friday. <laughs>